Okay, look, King Yapper, aka Top Waffler, aka Void Dweller. Um, I do apologize for the lighting, but listen, I mean, it's when summer comes, we won't have this issue anymore. Anyway, uh, we've got some Battle Force reviews uh, coming out, and also I, I feel quite confident in in a prediction for who the the tier 100 skin is gonna be. By the way, you might just absolutely lied in my face yesterday. I was uh, when I made the video chatting about this this Brazza skin. And I was saying, like, I wonder who the tier 100 skin is going to be, who the epic skin is going to be. And, like, a good amount of people in the comments were like, uh, this guy is so dumb. How does he not know? He's he's literally talking about a tier 100 skin. But as we're chatting, like, this is a tier 100 skin. Like, and I believed it for a second, too. That's the thing. Oh, man. This is actually what's wrong with the world, fam. Brothers can just say things with such confidence, and then idiots like me will believe it. Uh, yeah, this is obviously not the tier 100 skin, fam. It is... If this was a tier 100 skin, bro, well, please don't buy the battle pass. Anyway, um, the reveal that, that just came out, like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago-ish, uh, was this. I've, I've skipped the, the majority of this dry-ass reveal for you. You can just watch the actual, um, you get what I'm saying? This, this skin is fucking sick. Um, oh, I was going to say guess who the skin is, but you can already see. Well, you can see the last three letters because my face comes in the way. Anyway, uh, it's Moonin. You know what's so good about this skin, bro? You know, I've, I've talked about the, the Brahala phenomenon of like a legend can be so fucking ugly that the play rate is low, even though the legend is really fucking strong. Like just the, the, the clappedness, the disgust that you encounter when, when you play those legends is like too much that you, you won't find people main in the legends, right? And it's especially bad, bro, when the legends don't have any good skins. I can't lie. Moonin skins were actually vile. Uh, I think base Moonin might actually be the, the best Moonin skin until this came. This is sick. This is very fucking cool. You can't even like, I, I don't want to hear any arguments against it either. I don't care, bro. It's it's fucking dictatorship. There's no, there's no room for opinions. There's, there's just the truth uh, and then the one truth, you know? Look at this, man. Look at this. The, the, the thing with it is though, uh, and this is where I'm going to get into the, the next thing, like the next kind of review um step i mean you don't really need to see anything else uh let's let's pause it on the on the weapons okay i've touched grass a couple times in my life you know so i'm not completely familiar with every single detail of every single battle pass that's come out I, I don't know if this has happened before maybe someone will know better than me but look at the weapons look at the bow and look at the scythe they aren't original weapons they're just part of the weapon set that is coming with the battle pass you see this this bow here and you see the scythe down here that's just the the moonins um, so I don't really know how that works. I guess these aren't actually included in the battle pass. They just they, they come with the moonin skin that's in the battle pass. So then you can use the moonin weapons on any legend type thing. That hopefully what I'm saying makes sense. I don't know why I'm explaining it like it's so fucking complicated, but yeah. Uh I don't know. I just found that a little bit a little bit strange. I don't know, maybe it's happened before. Um but speaking of this, okay, and this is this is where the the the, the information comes in. I mean, it's not a very secret. I mean Brahla literally tweeted this this weapon set holds a mystery did you notice the shards of the greatsword wiggle so you press play on this um and look at the greatsword here uh it's animated it's moving it's the only thing that's moving um obviously greatsword is not the progression skin the progression skin is wushang and it's not like they just have like an animated skin for no reason right so i'm i'm thinking it, it, it tier 100 is probably going to be a greatsword legend which doesn't really make sense from a, a business point of view. I mean, how many fucking Greatsword players are there? But, I mean, once again, you know, the if the main legend is Greatsword, or if the, you can't really control what the main legend is, okay? You, brothers will only be happy if the, if the main Battle Pass legend is their main, if that makes sense. So no matter what, the ratio of, like, happy to, to, to pissed off brothers is, is always going to be, like, 1 in 60. So you really can't do much about it. But, like, Greatsword's a bit crazy. Also, Swerve tweeted this two days well it's two days until his reveal here um also when the fuck where, when are we gonna get the colors all i care about is the colors i guess micros reveals the colors i don't know either way uh i mean this has to mean something right great sword and hammer like his reveal is, is probably macular no is it not i mean that, that makes sense to me unless this is just some like you know chess is as as playing chess it's some fucking red herring but um i mean when when there's this with the wiggling great sword and brahala pointing it out and then also Swerve is pointing this, uh, pointing this. I mean, putting this on Twitter. I don't know. Listen, it, it we're probably getting a fucking tier 100 Macchio, <laughs> which is like, I don't even want to hear any complaints because I said this before. BMG are <laughs> such an unfortunate company, fam. Every single thing they do is like, brothers are just, they're just pissed. There's actually no winning because listen, Maggie, for example, I, you already know the, re the, the the reaction, and I say you already know because it's already happened in this battle pass. It's gonna be like, 
are, you know, they're making skins for the, the, the five Magyar mains out there. You know, that, that's what they're going to say. Um, because they said that with the Reno skin in this same battle pass. They said that exact same thing. But then, you know, if you release more decks as the tier 100 skin or, or you release like a popular legend, like a Scythe legend or, or Katar's legend or something like that, you know, all the comments are just, oh, fucking hell, man. They only make skins for these popular legends, you know. <laughs> when will Magyar get a tier 100? <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, there's actually no winning with, with, with fucking Rada players, man. It's... What can you do? What can you fucking do, realistically? Um, oh, 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 I'm, I'm ass. Hold on. Do I salvage this? Please come here, man. <laughs> fucking, I'm shit at the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not mad about a Magyar tier 100. Listen, like Magyar is, you got to feel sorry for Magyar mates. You know, the, the ones out there, listen, just feel happy for them and just hope, you know, you get the legend you want next battle pass because, well, as a Magyar main, you, you, you're thinking, there's no fucking way I'm ever getting a battle pass skin. That's what you're thinking as a Magyar main. So listen, I'm happy for them. I'm happy that they actually did get one and that it's a, it's an important one. You know, it's the tier 100. I mean, listen, I'm saying this as if it's already come out. It's it's obviously not already come out. So I don't know. Maybe it's like like I said, a red herring. Maybe there's not going to be anything Magyar related. Maybe it's going to be a different great sword legend. Maybe it will just be like a a skin, but not the tier 100 skin. You know, um, I don't know. But and like I said, there's no fucking winning with with. with <laughs> rather players man you know that's actually the, the 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 misconception i hate the most about my channel i think out of any comment i think any hate comment bro it would never get to me other than when, when brothers are like ah oh, this guy all he does is complain that one there actually pisses me off man because here's the thing i'll make the title will be like is brahala dying right and then it will be like a fucking hour long video going over every reason why brahala will never die and why it's a fantastic game but brothers will only read the title and then they think that I'm saying that Brad is dying. And then they're like, oh, this guy is just always complains. <laughs> or like, I I'll say like, uh, I don't know, man. Brothers are just fucking dumb as fuck, man. There's, there's, there's actually, yeah. That's why that's why I have to feel for BMG. Because listen, stupidity affects us all. Um, that's the unfortunate reality. And stupidity is is a fucking killer. This guy's um, fucking me up a little bit, actually. Hold on. I mean, you cannot be losing the the the, blood, the bow into blasters matchup ever. But I, I'm still haunted by that one Reddit thread, bro, and on the fucking Brahada Reddit where I made the video being like, "Is Multiverse is gonna kill Brahada when it returns?" The whole video was me saying absolutely not, and then brothers were like, "Oh, this lagging guy is so stupid." <laughs> he thought Multiverse is gonna come back and kill Brahada. Like, bro, didn't even watch the fucking video. I mean, I guess it's my fault for tiling that, but you know, I'm not taking responsibility. Okay. Uh, anyway, um. I was gonna say, did I already tell you lot to leave a like and subscribe this video? I think I did. Or did I? Uh, I don't. I don't really remember. Also, the last guy I played was a channel member, and I didn't realize because my brain is like absolutely turned off right now. How did Volkov Sidesig just out prioritize fucking <laughs> Bodhi? Like, uh, anyway, yeah. Um, shout out Red or Red Room, the fucking channel member. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I uh, no idea why I didn't realize, but anyway, you know what I was thinking about earlier was um, do YouTubers still? Bro, I remember like Prime YouTube. Every YouTuber had a fucking PO box. Do YouTubers still have those, or is that like um, a thing of the past now? You know, I feel like it would be, cause like okay, I f even back then it must have been fucking crazy to manage. I couldn't even imagine ever having a PO box, like bro. Brothers would send me some fucked up. I already know you lot. I'd get sent. So I'd just get sent human shit. I think or something crazy. Someone would milk a cow and send it to me, and call it fucking Taros cum or something like that. I, I I don't know why I'm giving ideas actually, but I I do miss the the, the PO box days. I, I would like I would like to have a PO box, but like at the same time, I just feel like uh, don't ask what that was. Watch we hit triple D light on the on the small Enigma platforms. Hold on, hold on. Okay, it's gonna happen. Just. Give it a chance to happen. You have to... Oh! There was actually a lot of potential there. Okay, never mind. The potential's dead. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. It would, uh, what was I even going to fucking say? Oh, the, wouldn't the post office just fucking hate you as well? Like, I don't understand. Maybe I don't know what a PO box is, actually. But in my mind, a PO box is just like a post office. Like, like your, your local post office. Because that's where I can get shit sent. Is like a fucking post office, right? That's how it works. Would they not just be fucking pissed because like especially if because the, the the ones i remember were like smosh back in the day i would watch smosh right and they do pure box opening what the f I'm, i can't tell if i'm playing shit or if this brother is just moving like a 
you know, handicap, brother. Um, and fucking, they were, they were the biggest channel on all of YouTube, right? Like, they had the most subscribers, that was, you know, in the days before, like, PewDiePie and T-Series and, and all this stuff. Bro, what the, like, surely, how can the post office, like, facilitate that? How did he not survive? He got the chase dodge and everything. Like, my post office is small, fam. If, 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 like, 20 people sent me packages, they would say no more. They would, they would lock it all off. They would say no fucking more. I don't know. Yeah. I, it's crazy. Anyway. Uh, hint who we're zooming in on uh, will be the basketball team that plays in, in Madison Square Garden. And then let me shout out the channel members. Moro, Matt Brandenburg, Eric's OK, Jan Well, Pokey, Sushi, Fish, 6 2 that's more no Buffles, Ash Mitzin, Kenji, Jacob, Echoes, No Glory, Bargain, Builds, Fat, Shell, Brass, Kari, Dylan, Jedi, Hikemini, X9, McBee, Red Room, Shout out Red Room. Lighter, Brandon Murray, Maxwell Podcast, Earth, MC, Pinnacle, Lacan, Atomic Call, Luzio, Awesome Controller Mods, Dodger Dolphin, Ice, Wallow, Bo, Nez, J, Tequarati, Beyond the Bottle of Water, It's Tuesday, Bloody Hill, Transgendered Freestock, The Fat Melt, Skojo, Colorful Alchemy, Zabu, and Junk Dog. Thank you all so much. You're all the goats, and I, I, I cannot, once again, and as always, understate just how much you, you do support me, and thank you for going out of your way to do so, um, and doing it so consistently as well. I mean, bro, the, the list is. It's not grown, but it's not shrunk very much, you know? It's just been consistent goats. Just, just tier list, tier list? List, I should say, of goats. Oh, bro, that's how you know I'm in too deep. I, I, when I say list, tier just automatically comes fucking before if I need to retire from YouTube, man. Anyway, uh, until next time, hope you have a, a good rest of your days. I love you all. Shout out and peace.